The Stray Dog. Quan was in his neighborhood, walking home from the bus stop, when a medium-sized dog came running up to him. It was a shaggy white dog with orange spots and floppy ears, and looked as if it didn't belong to anybody. Quan bent down for a closer look. He didn't recognize the animal from any of the families in the neighborhood. The dog was a big, fluffy ball of dirt and had no tags, so there was little doubt. The dog was a stray. Quan wondered what he should do. Quan walked the rest of the way to his house. The dog following behind him. When Quan reached his front door, he picked up the dog and walked inside. The dog wagged his tail frantically with pleasure at being held. He felt like a huge sack of marbles in Quan's arms as Quan carried him into the kitchen. His father was there pouring orange juice into a glass. He took one look at Quan and the dog and nearly dropped the carton of juice. "You can't keep it, Quan," his father said. "I've already explained to you that we don't have the time or space for a dog." "I know, Dad," said Quan, putting the dog down on the floor. "But he's definitely a stray, and I really want to help him." The dog ran over to the kitchen door where Quan's dad kept a pair of running shoes. He took both shoes in his mouth and ran back over to Quan and plopped the shoes down in front of him. The dog sat there with his tongue hanging out, wagging his tail. Just then, Quan's mom walked in. "I guess he likes shoes," she said, smiling. Why don't you take him to Uncle Bay's and see if he wants the dog? She looked at Quan pointedly and said, "He gets so few visitors." Okay, okay, I'll go see Uncle Bay," said Quan. He grabbed an old belt from the closet to use for a leash and walked out the door. Uncle Bay was Quan's least favorite relative, mainly because he was a real grump. He was about as warm as a block of ice. As a young man, Uncle Bay had fought in the army and had his vision severely damaged, so that now he could barely see. Come in," his uncle called when Quan rang the bell. Quan walked into the living room with the dog, saying, "Hi, Uncle Bay. It's me, Quan." His uncle was sitting in an easy chair. This stray dog followed me home this afternoon, and Mom and Dad said I couldn't keep it. Quan announced. We thought you might like to keep him. What am I going to do with a dog? Said Uncle Bay angrily. Get him away! But first, go get my shoes. They're in my bedroom. Quan smiled knowingly at the dog. He walked the dog into Uncle Bay's bedroom and brought him over to a pair of loafers. The dog grabbed the shoes in his mouth and ran back into the living room. He plopped the loafers right in Uncle Bay's lap. Uncle Bay's face lit up like the sun. It was the first time in a long time that Quan saw his Uncle Bay smile. Uncle Bay looked at Quan and said, "What should I name him?"